Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jane Sutherland. So last week marked my three month anniversary of living in recovery from my eating disorder. For me, diets were really a sneaky little monster because for six and a half years, I found myself trapped in this vicious cycle of either following a very restrictive diet and feeling almost imprisoned by it, or not following a diet and feeling very out of control and unworthy and just inadequate. So I couldn't be more grateful to be back in the driver's seat of my life and to be learning more every single day about intuitive and mindful eating. When I think of my recovery only being three months old, a part of me is really excited because I cannot wait for the rest of my life to be filled with acceptance, body positivity and so much self-love and also so much freedom around food. But on the other hand, I'm quite nervous because in many ways my recovery is like a toddler and some days I walk with so much confidence and on other days I fall down. But I have made the promise to pick myself up with compassion and kindness. So in today's video I want to share with you my weight loss. This journey has not focused at all on weight loss. Weight loss has not been my goal. It hasn't determined how much food I can eat or what food I can eat or when I can eat. It also hasn't determined which exercises I've enjoyed and chosen to do. But it has happened naturally and I want to share with you how I have been treating myself. So to talk numbers, which you know isn't my focus, but I think it will give you a better idea of how my body has responded to me loving it. I have lost 14 kilograms in three months. And that is not something I'm proud of, it's not something I'm even excited about because I'm so much more proud and so much more excited to share with you that three months ago when I weighed 96 kilograms, I love my body the same as I love it today at 82 kilograms. And that is incredible for me to share because since I was about 12 or 13 years old, I hated my body. I judged my body. I really told myself that my weight would determine how much I could have fun or my weight would determine how much I was worthy of being loved and now to be completely embracing all opportunities and not with no fear of weight loss or weight gain or just having weight not at all be the focus is such an incredible journey of love and my body has completely controlled this weight loss and I'm so grateful for it gifting me with my health and energy and a recovery that I'm so proud to be sharing with you. I also really want to share with you some of the things that I am discovering along the way. The first being that I absolutely hate being hungry. There is no part of me that functions well while I am hungry. So I've discovered that I enjoy having three large cooked meals. And I used to be afraid of having a large meal, but now, because I'm eating mindfully and eating intuitively, and also I'm mindful of the fact that it takes 20 minutes for my stomach to send the signal up to my brain that I've eaten and that I'm full. So I'm eating a lot slower, I'm making sure that I'm not thirsty before I eat, so I'm hydrating throughout the day, and therefore I'm not afraid of a big portion, because if I'm hungry and I need to have a big portion of food, I know that that is what my body needs at that time. I enjoy having a cooked breakfast, like eggs and bacon or sausage and vegetables, and for lunch I generally have leftovers from my dinner, or if I'm out and I haven't packed anything, I will look for chicken and vegetables, something substantial, not something, something that's on a plate and not something that I open in a packet. And then my dinners are generally a bit like smaller than my lunch because I've had a substantial lunch and a substantial breakfast to be able to maintain a good sugar level. So my dinners are generally smaller, but again, if I am hungry, I will make sure that I'm eating enough. And also with enjoy, enjoying big meals and hating being hungry, I've learned to really embrace snacking. And snacking was previously something that I felt very guilty doing. And now, because I'm also eating enough food during meal times, my snacks are looking a lot better. And you know that my favorite thing to snack on are dates. I also really enjoy raw vegan granolas, or um, biltong. I'm also mindful that if I need a whole bag of biltong, then I don't need a snack, I need a meal. So, you know, meat shrinks when it turns into biltong, and I won't eat four pieces of sausage as a snack, 
but I will maybe eat one. So if I'm having a snack, I'll make sure that my biltong is the right size for a snack. Otherwise I need to have a meal. And I'm also really enjoying eating fruit. Fruit was something that I completely eliminated from my diet previously when I was on restrictive diets because I was very afraid of the sugar and the carbohydrate content. But now I absolutely love it. Um, there's so much freedom around fruit and natural sugars because my stomach also didn't digest xylitol and stevia very well so I always felt very bloated and had an upset stomach from those sugars but dates and bananas and honey it really I maintain a good sugar level on those sugars so I really want to encourage you to investigate which sugars make you feel good and maybe sugar doesn't at all make you feel good but um, investigate and let me know how you feel snacking and also eating bigger meals. Also on food, I absolutely hate, it doesn't agree with me, to have coffee on an empty stomach. Previously while I was restrictive dieting, I used to have coffee in the place of a meal or in the place of you know, ha ha eating something if I was hungry, but now I enjoy a cup of coffee if I want a cup of coffee. And I realize that that's not first thing in the morning. I enjoy having a cup of coffee after I've eaten something. Something else I really love and I have really embraced, it was something that I didn't like and something I denied about myself, is the fact that I have a sweet tooth. I'm not afraid of that anymore because there are no restrictions, but I am making the choice out of love to eat things that make me feel as good afterwards as I feel eating it. So for me, I absolutely love raw vegan desserts. Um, I'm going to pop a few recipes down below on Pinterest. They're so easy to make, but my favorite ones are, um, I'm laughing because I bought, I bought one to show you guys in this video, but I ate it and I enjoyed every bite. But at Organic Zone, which is in Lakeside, they have these two raw vegan desserts, a lemon one and a chocolate one, and I absolutely love them. I really encourage you to look at your grocers, especially an organic grocer. It's also made me very mindful of the way that I eat. If I know that my produce is being locally sourced and is in season at that time, it is a lifestyle change that I completely support and encourage you to also try and adapt um, to. Yes, I love raw vegan desserts and that's always my go-to when I have a like a sweet craving. Also something that I really love is working out. It's something that I've always enjoyed, but over the past four years, it was something that I really um, started to punish my body with. So now falling in love with working out again is an absolute love affair that I just want to share with you guys and to encourage you to also embark on because I no longer think of a workout as burning calories or changing the shape of my body. I just think of it as having fun and it completely frees up my choice of workout. I'm keen to try anything and I'm just absolutely loving sweating and moving and getting my heart rate up. I'm sleeping better. I feel like I'm a much happier person. I really want to encourage you guys to also investigate which workouts work for you. Maybe it's just brisk walking. Also working out doesn't have to look like going to a gym. I'm also very mindful that if I need to get somewhere, I can walk, I can take my bicycle, I can make a plan to be able to move and not sit. So please let me know down below in the comments if you guys have any tips that you're learning along the way or have practiced your whole life that are in line with self-love and self-care and body positivity. I hope that you guys have an amazing week ahead filled with so much body positivity and love and acceptance and don't forget to subscribe. It really supports my channel and like and share and also remember to use the hashtag bodypositivesa to join in on the conversation in absolutely any way that you feel comfortable. I will see you in next week's video and thank you again so much for watching. Bye. So last week marked my three month anniversary of living in recovery from my eating disorder. Whew, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I'm gonna go and eat a date. <laughs> I am probably now gonna go eat a date. I'll see you. Bye. But girl, I've read your book.